Election officials in the area say they're continuing to see a big spike in early voter turnout. And two news reporter Kristen Eskow in Springfield with the early voting numbers we have just learned from the officials in Clark County. Clark County election officials tell me they moved early voting to the Clark State Performing Arts Center in downtown Springfield in anticipation of the higher turnout. And so far this election, they tell me early in-person voting is about double what it was at this time in the 2016 presidential election. With social distancing and sanitizing stations in place, voters are moving quickly through the early voting process in Clark County, sometimes without much of a line. Election officials tell me they've stationed more poll workers inside than usual to minimize wait times. I think it's great. I think they should have had the polls opened probably before now to make sure we got more votes in. I think it's good that the, the line is moving. Um, hopefully that people are still getting out and voting early. The Clark County Board of Elections says as of late Wednesday afternoon, more than 9,000 people have voted early in person. Non-affiliated voters make up the biggest portion of ballots cast so far. The numbers for registered Republicans and Democrats who have voted separated by about 200 voters. Each day has, has been double what we did last, last presidential election. The Board of Elections says so far more than 20,000 people have requested mail-in ballots and more than 14,000 have been returned. We planned for 30,000 uh, voting by mail, and we also planned for 30,000 voting downtown. So uh, with that being said, we are prepared for, for what happens. Clark County officials tell me they're still in need of poll workers for this election. If you're interested in becoming a poll worker, they suggest you call the county election office. In Springfield, Kristen Escow, 2 News, working for you.